We've been talking a lot about faith lately, have you noticed? Well, today we're going to talk about faith and resisting the devil and humility. It's time for your morning cup of inspiration. I hope your day's going well so far. Reading in James, we learned that humbleness, humility is very important to God. He wants us to have a humble heart. You know, that's the, the big difference between humanism, what we know as secular humanism, and Christianity. Secular humanism believes that man is the center of everything, that man can overcome anything. His mind is powerful, his mind is strong. And you see, man kind of becomes the center of everything. Whereas in Christianity, God is the center of everything. Christ, our Savior, is the focal point of our lives. Let's read about faith and resistance and humility. In James chapter 5, I'm starting in verse 6, uh, it says, But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture said, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And then we read, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Have you ever felt like the temptations are all around you and that they just won't go away and that the devil's just not letting you go and he doesn't ease up on you? Well, God says when you resist him, he eventually goes away. When you know you're tempted to do something that is wrong and you keep saying no and you go to God in prayer and say, give me strength, that resistance leads to victory. Then we read in verse 8, come near to God and he will come near to you. I've always told people that if they'll just take a step toward God, he'll come millions and millions of miles toward you. We just have to reach out. We have to go to him. And this is so important, especially after we feel like we've sinned and we've failed him. Go right to God. Don't wait. You know, the devil wants you to think there's no forgiveness. Well, there is. He's always ready to forgive. And then we read, wash your hands, you, you sinners, purify your hearts. You got to keep a pure heart. And it says you double-minded. We don't want to be double-minded. In fact, back over in the first chapter of James, uh, in chapter, uh, in, in verse 6, it says, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. So when you have faith and you ask, you have to have, you have to know that God is going to answer, that God is with you. And then it says, that man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. We don't want to be stable, unstable. We don't want to be double-minded, you know, floundering back and forth. And then I'll just read in verse 10, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Jesus was humble. He came to earth as a man. He gave up glory. He died on a cross. He suffered humiliation. He suffered beatings at the hands of the soldiers. And yet he did it for you and me. Let's pray. God, help us to resist the devil. Help us to be humble and use our faith in a way that makes us not double-minded, but very sure-minded, very certain of our faith. Thank you for it. In thy name, amen. God bless you. I hope this helped. See you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.